NVIDIA DLDSR, not to be confused with D DDLS or whatever, you know, acronyms they come up with. Andrew, why don't you tell me about DLDSR, not to be confused with the DSLR? Not to be confused with DLSS or DSLRs or anything of the sort. Um, they really do like their abbreviated uh, naming schemes. So DLDSR is a new... Um, not a revision, but it, it's a, a new version of what they call deep learning dynamic super resolution. So dynamic super resolution has been a thing in the past, and it's basically something that you're able to scale up your, your rendering of the game, and then it scales it back down to your native resolution. So let's say you have a 1080p monitor, um, but you're running a 3090. With DSR, just traditional dynamic super resolution, you could have it set to basically render the game at 4K and then rescale it down to 1080 and it would look better. You'd have less jagged edges. You wouldn't need to run so much uh, post-processing on, on it to look good because it would be rendering at four times the quality before scaling it back to native. Um, kind of reminds me of anti-aliasing. Yeah, so like anti-aliasing. Basically anti the same thing. Well, <clears throat> anti-aliasing you would need to run if you're running at a lower resolution. By running it at a higher resolution, it eliminates the need for that quite a bit. Yeah. So this new uh, version of it integrates deep learning and artificial intelligence, which you know NVIDIA is pretty much uh, you know on the cutting edge right now. So it brings the power of AI to dynamic super resolution, which renders high resolution before scaling it down to monitor resolution. And this new AI network requires fewer input pixels than the previous version of DSR. So that's nice. It, only, it requires <clears throat> 2.25 times the native res um, in terms of rendering to match the quality of four times native res with the previous version. So what that means is if you're running 1080p um, and then you run this new DLDSR at 1620p, it will look as good as the previous version did at 4K. And be so, less load on the CS system, so you have higher FPS. Much less load, you'll have better performance, exactly. So this is, uh, this, is, this is a feature that's out now. It was just released, I think it was yesterday or the day before, with the latest driver update, the game ready driver specifically. Mm -hmm. So you can go into the NVIDIA control panel and enable DLDSR if your card is RTX based. Um, in addition to that, they add three enhancement filters, which include SSRTGI, SSAO, and Dynamic DOF. So, uh, we all know what those are. That so Dynamic gonna... DOF, though, it's thick. Yeah, yeah, so I, I will go over these. So <laughs> SSRTGI, which, uh, it's kind of a long name, but it makes sense. So, Screen Space Ray Traced Global Illumination. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's a, it's a filter, so I'll get into why that matters, but screen space, ray trace, global illumination basically is a filter that is using AI to kind of figure out what the scene is and use those ray tracing cores to, you, to enable global illumination in a game that wouldn't otherwise have it. Um, so this enhances the lighting and the shadows in the game. SSAO is screen space ambient occlusion which emphasizes the appearance of shadows near the intersection of 3D objects, again using artificial intelligence to sort of recognize where that should be happening. Um, and dynamic DOF, or depth of field, creates blur based on proximity of objects within the scene to create cinematic and suspenseful feel during gameplay. So again, using AI. So if you're playing a game and you know, you're know you running around outside and there's a car in front of you or whatever, it's going to use AI to say, okay, that car is close and that building behind it's further away and make a blur mask essentially for the building and not the car. And, you know, it'll, it'll apply this in real time and, um, and with that kind of make a, a different game. So they're marketing this as sort of um, a way to play old games and when you turn on these filters and the DLDSR and up the resolution and then scale it back down and have these these filters like screen space ray tracing global illumination and dynamic depth of field, it's going to be like playing a remastered version, more or less. I mean, that's they say that it's a remastered experience. 
So well, I mean, we've already seen examples. It looks pretty good. Yeah. So if you wanted to show an example of that, they, Nvidia did have a, a sample where you could, you know, use a slider to see the difference in an older game. Yeah. And uh, if you guys are listening to this after the fact podcast style, if you want to come back to this chapter in a little bit. It's going to be chaptered in the future. Um, and you can just click to the part and see it on screen because we're going to show it live right now. So right now we are on NVIDIA's uh, website. This is for the, <clears throat> let me uh, get this right here. The uh, uh, DLDSR 2.5X plus SSR TGI filter. So this yes, is the so. original, okay? And then you can see the really big difference or not that much more computational power. Yeah, so the big thing you're seeing here is shadow quality, um, it's almost the lighting. Like, yeah, it's almost like there's ray tracing, but not that type of ray tracing. Well, it's AI-based ray tracing, essentially. So, yeah. Like, there's way more dynamic range. Yeah, you can see it a lot through the glass and the ceiling in that next room, where it goes from, like, no detail, like, no difference in lighting, mm -hmm. to more of much more realistic shadows. Um, yeah. And also that uses the DLDSR, which is a way of basically upscaling it um, so that, you know, older games only have so much texture quality. So by upscaling <laughs> it with AI, it can sort of predict what it should look like if it were higher quality and then give you that experience. So the slider is showing a combination of DLDSR as well as the SSRTGI. I just want to point out, if you look in this area where my mouse is, and you look at security, so that's the original rendering from the game, and when you apply this, it becomes much sharper too. Even things in yeah. the background that normally would um, get deprioritized for rendering. And you could really see here, as Andrew was saying, there's a lot more dynamic range on the shadow instead of just being a faded. Almost like you yeah. took the picture in S-Log. <laughs> like we're looking at S-Log, and then we applied a a lot to it yeah there's a lot more contrast looks good like like there's a lot more shadows but not at the sacrifice of detail <clears throat> yeah i mean um it's pretty exciting coming up because we are kind of i'm gonna try it out it's it's in the latest driver package i'm gonna probably try <laughs> it out fire up some old games that don't have ray tracing that you know you know the textures didn't look that good by modern standards but the gameplay was still you know it's worth playing an older game sometimes yeah so i'm gonna try it out and see how it does you know there's yeah. been games that have already been remastered so i'm gonna see if this is sort of a similar feel to that if it feels like a remaster if it feels like uh you know they're they're marketing it as like a remastered experience but you know uh until i actually do it i'm, I'm gonna Hold that with a grain of salt yeah for sure it's um like it's not going to be as good as original rendering but i kind of i kind of equivalent i equivalent it to like in bank encoding versus cpu encoding it's not as good but it's so close and so much better that it's the, the the returns are way better than the small small tiny sacrifice you would have to make and uh yeah. we're getting to the point where we could run games um with more ai power which allow the computer to not work as hard and still get you pretty good detail that's uh close to the original rendering